Mm. I see things on my end. Yeah. Hang on. I do. <laughs> do I? I do. Ah, right there. Beautiful. Amazing. Let's see. Let me just close this up. Um, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. So I'm here with the beautiful Ashley Dye, the god of revolution. And um, we just have to do our introduction and then I will introduce her properly. So, okay. So right now I am honored to reveal the gods. They are remembrance of who you be. It's time. The gods are the new earth divine leaders that are here to provide direction, guidance and healing to you and our world. Right now, everything is crumbling. It's been dismantled as we speak and many don't know where to turn or who to trust. The gods are divinely chosen to lead and they bring a remembrance of who you be. I share the gods with you. They are here for you. They are a stand of love, truth, and freedom for all. We all rise together. Each one of us has a divine energy, including you. It's who you are at the very core. It's the filter that you see your world through. Aligning to your energy is where you thrive, right? So you came to act we all came to activate this planet. Each God will activate and awaken their divine energy within you. Each video is a transmission and an awakening to the divine powers that live dormant within you. You will be coded to thrive, love, create, and expand to more. These beings have tapped into their divine power and one by one will activate the world. I share the gods with you for you to remember who you be. I share the gods with you to remind you of the greatness that lives within you, that we are more, that each one of us brings a piece of heaven to earth. And when we are on purpose, we are the medicine of our world. This is a piece that many are missing, your knowing of who you be. For the, for the past 10 years, I have been activating the gods of this world, divinely activating their frequencies and watching them release their magic into the universe. Now it's time for you to meet them. And today we have the God of revolution. Like what a fucking powerful, like I have to say fuck when I speak to you. <laughs> Uh, what a fucking powerful, powerful um, energy, right? A divine energy that, and it's, it's source revolution when it came through. And God said, yes, God of revolution, but it, there's also an understanding where it's source re revolution. It's like creation revolution. Um, mm. So welcome, Ashley. Welcome. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. Like I was, it was, I was just bubbling in excitement all day and where normally feelings don't get a vote just yes. to bring this to other people. I'm so excited. <laughs> we'll talk about that because a lot of about emotions came through in your reading. It's like, yeah. oh wow, because <laughs> I'm all emotion. And it was like, got a revolution. We'll speak more about it. It's more like, fuck emotion, let's do this. <laughs> You're not into so tell me, tell me, what does it mean um, for you to be God of Revolution, or what was that like to remember who you be, and what does it mean to you, so we can understand it? Yeah, so so being woken up was really powerful, and at the same time, it was like, oh my gosh, this is a <laughs> lot, <laughs> and at the same time, it was like, this is who I am, like. This makes everything make sense. This makes all the puzzle pieces work together. Um, I was interviewed previously about, you know, the different path of my life where it's more like, you know, non-linear and like a dot to dot in different, um, like those dot to dot pictures that kids yeah. do. And um, it's all because I was building different tools and creating different things, becoming a part of different systems so I could gain that knowledge to be as I be in the world. So there was a heaviness, but it was a lightness. And it was, it went from a knowing something to a deep understanding that is so deep that you just know it in your bones. And I sometimes live through movie quotes and song lyrics, but there's this movie called Mask of Zorro. And at one point he's cut on his neck, carved a Z, um, revolutionary Zorro. Um, but 
blood never lies, Zorro, is what I said in that moment, because he was trying to hide who he was um, in the middle of everything that was going on in the community. And when we know that's part of our DNA, when we know that's where we come from, when we know that fractal, that piece of the divine is within us, you can't act as you were. You yeah. can't speak as you did. You can't operate in that same way. There is a not cliche divine mission to attend to. You are called to do different things. Mm -hmm. And, you know, some people want to say with great power comes with great responsibility. And sometimes that knowing is all that is needed to shift that knowledge into power. Mm -hmm. So it was really, really amazing to, to hear oh, that my blood doesn't lie. I already know this. <laughs> I love it. Yes. Yes. It was just such a knowing for you. It's like, yep. And I, you and I had just met at that point and yeah. didn't, I didn't really know much about you or anything about you really. Um, mm -hmm. we just ended up in the mastermind together, which was awesome. And yeah. So uh, with Ashley, what came through of her, um, the essence that came through that energy is you came is source revolution. So you are the source revolution of this planet and you came to reveal things that uprise this planet, its knowings and its beliefs. So you just have this understanding. So you came to define this planet as more like Ashley's, I love her energy. Cause it's just like, that's what revolutionary, a revolutionary does. It, it, no, there's more. I'm seeing more. I'm seeing a greater version of this, and this cannot be true anymore. So, yeah, speak a bit, a bit to that. You came to define this planet as more. You cannot see that the people play small. Yeah, I, and this time, and anybody who's watching this at a later date, it is July 27th <laughs> in the year 2020, and we have had everything ripped out from underneath us. All the things that we thought were stable, all the things we thought we knew. Sorry, y'all, I brought this to you on purpose. Um, COVID-19, we are five, almost six months in now. But in terms of not playing small, in terms of not allowing people to just be who they are. So many people in the world have been begging and begging and begging for time to take care of themselves, mm -hmm. time to do this, time to tap into self-mastery. And here you go. Mm -hmm. People have had a wonderful, almost six months now to dive into who they are. And this is where some of those emotions don't get a vote. It, it just is. This is that time. This is that revolutionary moment. And so it, it's it's not uh, not honoring the process, and it's not disregarding everything that came before that. But we have to dismantle all that, especially the laws and the rules. I've been doing a lot of this, especially with my children. And you know, sometimes we have to step into our inner child and reparent. And sometimes we have to relook at those laws and those rules and the things that were told to us of how we would and could and should do life, realizing that a lot of it was programming, a lot of it was indoctrination, a lot of it was conditioning, and we were built this box that we were told that we needed to fit into. And what we're realizing, if we are stepping into that, if we are wanting to, is that it's time to be a lobster. It's time to break out of that shell. It's to go past that point of discomfort because it's going to fucking hurt. Yeah. It's going to be painful. But on the other side, it'll be, it'll be like those, you know, in America, we had this silly game when we were kids. Um, it was called the Oregon Trail where you were walking along the trail and then you get um, a disease and you die. That's, it was a little computer game. It might have even been like a black and green computer game. I'm that old, everybody. Um, but um, one of the pieces in the Oregon Trail was that you would always have these oxen and the yokes would be part of it. And I just, I'd always thought about them. And I worried, you know, how heavy that yoke must be to carry how heavy that burden of life must be, that box, that wood, that rigidity that tells us this is what you have to be in life. Mm. And 
at the end of the day when they're done pulling the cart to that next place and the next thing that they have to do, they should do, they must do, that moment they get that fresh air, it hurts a little. Mm. But the moment they can break free and the posture is regained and the confidence and that freedom comes, then they start frolicking in the grass. And it's like, oh, this hurts, but it feels so good. This is what it's about. <laughs> yeah. I just felt that journey with you. Like, I just felt like, and then, yes, but it is. It's like, oh my gosh, that very moment that you can breathe, that actually, it is like it hurts. Like you, that bit of freedom, it's like, oh my gosh. It's like, yeah, it's, um, and yeah. And like you said, we're going through a time where everything is coming up. Everything, like your energy is like alive on this planet and it's been activated in all different places because we are, that energy goes right through all of creation, right? Yeah. And yeah, so I love how you explained that. And, and God had said, you are source. Source does not have belief. So that's the part of the source revolution. Like source just mm -hmm. is, it does not have beliefs. It doesn't care for things or reasons why. It just creates. It moves mm -hmm. things into existence. It works within the laws, which you, I love that you speak a lot about because it moves within the laws and it reflects everything that was. Source doesn't give a shit how the people feel and you are... <laughs> In the same way, you are so loving. So, you know, yeah. creation is also so loving and everything. Source is so loving. Um, so source doesn't give a shit how the people feel. It is here to do its thing. thing. Source, source creates. You came to revolutionise this planet and you will. Because it's not about you deal with the laws, like the universal laws. We're not talking about the society. Mm -hmm laws of society we're talking about universal laws that Ashley really deals with and and then there's no room for beliefs because the laws just are when beliefs get you know she doesn't have Locked time for beliefs. that's what she helps you to release and get rid of right because it's like the yeah. laws are here we can create what we want so just speak on that a bit like what yeah so one of the first laws of <laughs> of if we want to look at those universal laws is the law of oneness mm -hmm. and that is one of the biggest ones that people have separated themselves from if you want to go google um the universal laws feel free to you can check out those first 12 there's about 33 and then there's 103 and then i could go <laughs> in more in detail and share those with you but the law of oneness is basically telling you that everything is connected to everything else. What we think and what we say and what we do, there's this rippling effect that happens on us and the universe. But when religion got introduced to people, when man-made religion got introduced to people, they separated us from our divinity and told us that as human beings, we're really gonna struggle with being sinners and sinners first and sinners always in every single day of our life. And that really separated us from the fact that we are divine and we are one. And it's not head, heart, mind, body, soul. We are one in this. And once we can reconnect ourselves to those, then those ripple effects happen. Like being in this container, you can feel the oneness that people embody and how they be in this world. And that flesh bag versus divine revelation, I just need to be saved. That's not what it's about. It's remembering who you are in this world. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's, there's other pieces and other laws that can go along with it. But if I can bring one specific thing to people, it would be that matter of wholeness, mm -hmm. that matter of remembrance, that, that, it, that we are all just one. Yeah. Yeah, You're that's the most, mine. yeah, if we just remember that, like that is so powerful because that would heal everything, that would fix everything, that would just like, if we remember, like if there's one person hurting in this planet, then we all hurt because we're all connected. It's just like a part of our body. It's part of, like a cell in our body. It's just like, it cannot, like, you know, if you've just got a little sore finger or a back pain or something, it makes a whole other system, like, it doesn't work, it doesn't feel right. Um, so it's essential for all of us. And it's who we be, like, we are all divinely connected, we are all that. So yeah, it's so beautiful that you teach on that. So I'm just going to share a little bit more on you, because there was so much I go back and I highlight bits that remind me and then I, I just like, <laughs> I've got blocks, like just paragraphs, like because it's, it's so amazing, and especially for the time that we're living in too. So mm -hmm. 
um, so Ashley's purpose, like purpose is to reveal this energy that you bring. It is shocking, confrontational, and very much an illusion of our time, the belief, what, what is happening. So um, when we're in revolution, it, it is shocking. It's in our face. It's confrontational. Sometimes we don't want to see what we're hearing, what's coming up for us, but it is time for it to come as come up it's an expression of the all it is very much in your face revolution but this is what they need okay if it's not in our face we can turn around and ignore it so i'll just read this about ashley because she's so awesome so you are a revolutionary leader of our time you bring with you an energy of the all and you transform transform things to the reality that you see fuck the system fuck the rules this is all downloaded by god Fuck the system, <laughs> fuck the rules, but the laws always be. You are the universal laws in action right here. So the energy of revolution is the universal laws in action right here. You stand by them. You will not make them move. It's what gives you strength. The laws strengthen who you be because there are no exceptions. This is what needs be. Oh, you don't like it? Then it's up to them to shift. It's up to the being to shift. The laws are there, just like uh, Ashley was explaining, like the laws are there. So it's up to the beings to shift and work with those laws, right? Shift our minds and not follow what other things are saying. So then it's up to them to shift. You will not stand for ill truths. You come, you bear, and you move. You keep moving and creating and see everything dismantled before you. And nothing shocks you. It's truth. You came to dismantle the systems that rule this world. You will, you have, you see this done. You revolutionize the planet to truth. And you do this with the planet, and I know you do this one-on-one -on -one with your clients too. You revolutionize. You The systems are there. The laws are there. And it's, it's what needs to be cleared and moved is how the person thinks. Like... So yeah, just riff a bit about that, what, whatever comes to you there. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, in understanding that, you know, we are all different pieces of the divine, you know, there's another law that's called the law of relativity. Yeah. Um, so that's basically what I see might not be what you see, where you see things as love, I see it as a revolution. Yes. You might see it as something else and something else and something else. And while those can be honored, they teach us to understand and be compassionate in that journey. But at the end of the day, you either want it or you don't. We don't get to Yoda this. <laughs> we don't get to Yoda this. That you do or you don't. There is no try. Like, and, and this is where emotions don't get a vote can be very confrontational because we are very addicted. We are very conditioned. We were programmed into this makes me feel, and I feel, and I feel, and I feel, and I, and I don't feel like you're listening to me or I want, I want, I want me, 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 very egocentric and ego based. And while these relative life experiences are important at the end of the day, do you want it or not yeah. that it, however it's defined and that it should hopefully and I'm shooting on people, I just heard myself say should, should be towards that self mastery. It should be towards bringing yourself back to that place of being one with self, one with universe, one with everything else. So that as we're dismantling these systems of the world, as we're breaking through decolonization, that is a big thing that people are talking about right now. And this, it, it goes beyond just white people taking over the rest of the world. This has to do with the ways that these messages have been ingrained in our brains. And do you want to think like this anymore? Oh, I, I can't deal with the emotions on this piece. I'm not being a bitch about it. We don't have time for that. And it's said with love, in all, in one, and in love, that it is time to do this, get uncomfortable and do it so we can break down the ways that our minds have been taught hate. We can break down the systems that are allowing bodies to be broken and bruised and children to be sold, breaking down all the systems that allow the kinds of oppression, even of accosting women with voices. That was something that happened this week on the House of Representatives. This cannot be the system that we allow to continue anymore. And there's no room for emotions in that. So with the ways that I want to show up, the ways that I'm trying to encourage others, that moment where emotions just don't exist, good. <laughs> don't try to put them back in there. <laughs> I know there's a lot of people who are healers and there's a lot of people who are, 
are bringing about the next paradigm shift, the next new earth, however it is in their work. And it's great that we journey the emotions of conditioning to release them. But once we are in that place where we are able to stand, I'm gonna go back to another movie quote. I love Les Mis. There's a part where a revolution is coming. It's a beautiful small group, but they're gonna stand for what they believe in no matter what. And there's a part of the song that they start singing and it makes my heart beat extra fast every single time. But the, there's these young men that are just fighting for everything they believe in. And the song, you can hear the the little pitter pats of the drum as they're marching. And the little song comes in. Can you hear the people sing? singing the songs of angry men. It is the music of the people who will not be slaves again. Yeah. So when the beating of the drums echoes the beating of your heart, there's a life about to start when tomorrow comes. Wow. And I love the irony of the last piece of it because if we talk about when there's life about to start, when tomorrow comes, tomorrow's already here. So tomorrow is today, but if there's no time and time's a concept, revolution is here now yeah. and there's a life about to start do it <laughs> yeah 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 and and uh, I love that Ashley and I love I love that song that you were saying um and just when Ashley was saying that about emotions like there is no time for your emotions anymore why because we feel a little bit uncomfortable like people have been living in so much more pain than us and really when people come to work with Ashley, you want fucking change, right? You want the revolution is already happening within you, right? So, it, and and for us to step up and be like, like Ashley was saying, there is no time for us to waste any longer. And all the things that are happening, the trafficking, the child trafficking, all the things like, it's not fucking okay. It's not fucking okay. And it has to be in our face. And yes, it may make, people feel yuck, whatever, who cares? Like, look at what's happening in our world and in our planet. And yeah, so we do have to remove our emotions. Uh, it, we do have to remove our emotions and just show up because as we do and be our greater selves, that's when everything's going to work because you know you are the voice for something. You are, you, each one of us has a message. Each one of us brought a message into this world, onto this planet. Um, so, yeah, I love how you say that. And it, it is now, it is now, it is now the revolution is here. And the revolution is always, is also inside of you, right? And so mm -hmm. I know um, when we say, oh, she doesn't deal with emotion and this healers and whatever. Um, when I want fucking change, I would go to Ashley because I'm going to get change. I'm going to get those things cleared. I'm going to get my beliefs changed. I want to, I don't want to just, although I'm all about love and whatever, I'm just like, no, I need it now. Like, have we not suffered enough? Have you not suffered mm. enough? Like, you know, and um, and there is something that you're being called to do. And also, you know, that disconnect, that uneasiness, that yuck that you feel inside of you is because you're so disconnected to your truth, right? So the revolutionary, the revolution is happening inside of you too. Those horrible feelings, um, you know, like that is happening inside of you because of that. So those emotions are the emotions that need to come out. And yeah, and then, okay, then we work with the laws. And that's, that's the most powerful thing that God says, like said to me when all this was happening uh, with COVID and all that was, um, and all the shutdowns and everything, the laws still exist. The universal laws still exist. Right. So, but everybody stopped creating. Everybody just went small and just like, and it's like, no, like, I'm just going to read a bit more about um, Ashley's mission. So, your mission, Ashley, is to guide I have those. One thing real quick. Oh, sorry. I have one thing, real quick. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, when, when you're talking about, um, you know, that it has to be in your face, when this energy has to be in your face, um, and taking that ego out, that me, 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 and, and working towards that collective. And that, that goal for the collective to be free, the remembrance, we're all trying to be ultimately practitioners of remembrance. Yeah. Um, but there, I mean, even if we want to talk about the mask situation that's going on, yeah. if you're catching this years later, <laughs> we are being forced to wear masks everywhere we go for the protection and safety of others, reducing transmission risk of COVID-19. There are people who 
have other opinions and beliefs based on their relative opinions and where those people are able to see this as a revolution. Some people are saying, fuck the system. We're just not going to do everything that you tell us to do. We're not wearing a mask. Okay, great. And can you still fill that gap with love? We've got a six feet mandatory distance that we have between people here. It got to the point in the state that I'm, I'm actually visiting family right now. They have now made it a criminal law because there has been so much disregard and disrespect for humanity, for humanness as a whole, for our brothers and our sisters and our elderly and our children, that they're now mandating that we care and that it's gotten to that point. This is a universal law that we're struggling with right, right now because this cause and effect, this is not law number six, that when we are not feeling love and, and who we be in the gaps, the effect is detrimental. Yes. And um, yeah, haven't we had enough of this yet? Come on, whether or not you believe it or not, fill in the gap with love. Mm. We can love each other with the ways our eyes smiles. We can love each other. And I think in, in England, there was a, a, um, a campaign because many people were falling off of the platform gap where the bus was like the platform was here and then the buses would come through and people were falling in and they they put big signs and it was a big campaign mind the gap mind the gap really but if we're going to mind the gap and put love in that gap yes what other gaps can we be filling literally and if we think about the timeline of our life born this time gonna die this time what are we doing with this gap in between yeah. How is it that we are living our life? How is it that we are being in terms of caring for moving and making things happen? Oh, I love that. I love that. I love that because everybody, we do have that gap. And um, like Ashley was saying, yeah, there are these rules and laws and whatever that we have to spit. Like, it's crazy to even say it, that someone, mm. you know, that has, hasn't lived in it will then list, listen to it later. But worldwide and it, it is this gap that we have to and then people just they don't want to look at each other they just like and it is it's just like what if we just fill those gaps like it's so beautiful that definitely has to get out there because that is such a beautiful expression instead of just don't come near me like don't and people have turned around in a line where I haven't noticed or forgotten or whatever and they've gone oh, you're supposed to be over there like and it's just this like this it was so shocking. It's a panic. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's a sheer terror. There was a, a sweet old lady, you know, in one of the motorized scooters at the grocery store that couldn't reach a can on the shelf. And early on, I, I'm, in, I'm in relatively good health. I wasn't wearing a mask and it wasn't mandated at the time. And she was dressed in head to toe gear, almost like a chemical war was about to happen. Even when I offered to help her, she started shaking. Ah. And that's when to me, it wasn't about obeying a mandate of a law. And it wasn't them telling me that I should do this. It became a choice for me to care for others. Mm -hmm. And this is, you know, yeah, emotions don't get a vote, but if we're also operating on this universal collectiveness and we're trying to raise that vibration in the consciousness of humanity, are we caring for humanity within the laws or creating laws that will be able for us to compensate and to attract and to just have that polarity and rhythm of, of bringing the world back up mm. and, and I'm not trying to be all love and light, but would we rather fill it with fear mongering, hate, ridiculous conspiracy theories, or can we just, can we just fill the gap with love? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And some people may not understand when we say like emotions don't get time or whatever when we're in oneness when we're in the universal laws when we're abiding by those laws that we are built to actually for life to flow like god created those laws so our life would just flow right um it's our emotions and our beliefs that are stopping us and blocking us from all that but they're set up that way and so in that god is in the energy of love anyway it's full-blown it's that powerful love presence right which we all are and so we shouldn't be blocked from that and blocked from sharing that with each other so yeah that is an emotion but that's a fucking force that's who we be to start off with mm. so we're coming from love 
And then those other emotions that get in the way or your bullshit stories that create those emotions um, yeah. and make everything feel real and create your beliefs. That's what we're, we're saying. We have to stop giving them time and get back to who we truly be. The, the, it's an emotion. Love is an emotion, but it's also who we be. It's just that is who we be. And that's what's being, you know, even people live and don't even realize that's who we are, right? But that yeah. is the very essence of who we are as divine beings. And that is just our natural state of being. When that's shut off, like, yeah, my whole body, when those rules started coming in, like my whole body went into, like, it began to, every cell in my body was like, this is not okay because this is not how we're meant to live. This is not how yeah. we flow. This is not it's not okay. Like um, it's like having the the wooden yoke put back on us as oxen yeah. after we've already become free, and it hurts. Yeah. But I think the biggest difference is when we do it because we're told to, or we do it because we choose to. Mm. Are we doing it because it's it's what we're told to do, or is it who we who we be? Like you're saying, is it because we are love? Because we fill the gap with love? Yeah because we are revolutionizing the laws that are meant to keep us small and making them something that is, is for the betterment of humanity. Yeah. And the revolution is love, right? It's coming back to who we be. Like, Ashley, although this message is also like, fuck this, fuck that, but very much in your face, she is someone that if you go on her page, follow her, whatever, she spreads so much love, like all, you know, all parts like love like sexual sexuality everything everything all of it she she's here to dismantle all the bullshit all the dogma that we've been and to, for you to see the beauty of body the beauty of life the beauty of love everything that you be um so here it says you free them from the dogma and all trepidation so their fear worry nervousness you understand who to be and in this you set them free yeah, so, um, yeah, yeah, and, and so you will feel love, like, she's so loving, but there is a strength and a knowing inside of Ashley, but it's all from that force of love, right, it's not, you know, people act as if love, I've said it before, like, love is like on a pretty card, you know, that you buy <laughs> or something, no, it's an actual force, it's our power of who we be, it's how we dismantle everything else, it's our power, so, yeah, so I love that you free them from the, dog, the dogma, like, and, and, you know, if we're looking at the ways that we were built, you know, when we were free cavemen and wild and free and loving as long or as short as we wanted, whoever and however many that we wanted, and we were just able to be, um, we didn't have to worry. We didn't have to worry about the rules. I mean, we worried about getting kicked out of the tribe, but before all of that started happening, if we were able to set back into that, I don't have to worry. Not just does the universe have me, the divine got me and the revolution is here to free the planet. So the revolution has got you. Step into that container that is wanting and willing and ready to do the things, no matter how hard it is, because source of revolution has got you. I got you. God of revolution has you in this process and you're going to be okay. And it's going to be wonderful on the other side. Oh, that is so beautiful. That is so. <laughs> if you're watching it and then you're on the replay, please go back and listen to that bit again. That's a beautiful message. We'll have to pull that out and just, it is such mm. a beautiful knowing to have. And just know when we are these energies, um, that everything about us, well, everything is energy, right? The What you're seeing, the actual body, the, the matter is the very smallest part of who we be. We are energy first, each one of us, right? And when you're listening to Ashley, the God of revolution, the energy of revolution, the divine energy of revolution, it's her, um, her voice, 
her sound, her everything just unfolds. Like it'll unfold things. It actually recalibrates and codes you in different ways. It will actually just move things through you. So I have a vibration that comes out when I speak that actually does and shifts things to you. And Ashley has her own. So you revolutionize this planet um, and the beings, just even being in your presence, like your voice, there's a strength about her, but there's this, it's also this full blown love. She knows who she bees and that comes through for her. So I love that. Um, I just want to share another awesome bit about you. <laughs> okay, so if you ever just want people to know that, like, because like we, the revolutionary energy is right through the planet and we're seeing it being activated in all different places, right? And so you're going to think that's Ashley's energy. Go Ashley. It's like, it's her energy. She came to represent that divine energy. And we get to also um, have those codes activated within us and we get to be the revolutionary. We get to have that within us and awaken things uh, on this planet too and within ourselves. But I also want you to understand what it feels like to work with Ashley one-on-one -on -one too, right? So God wants you to understand that too because there's people that, you know, um, when we're created, we're actually created with other people in mind. So God created Ashley and made her to represent this energy because there was people and beings that needed to experience her work. And she was here to help them. Like, um, so you will be called, you'll feel the calling and just think, yes, she's, she's the one, she's the one that's going to be able to shift me. Right. So, um, so she really works with revolutionizing your mind and your fucking life, God says. It's an in-your-face encounter with yours truly uh, about what needs to change. It's that shock revolution that finally things will change. Like, oh, the times when I used, you know, years and years ago when I was stuck in an abusive relationship or so many things that just wasn't working right in my life and at times I'd end up at you know to speak to a psychologist and they were just like okay tell me the story okay I'll see you next week and I'm like what just happened there no to be in the presence of someone that it's that shock, shock revolution where it's like we're seeing what's happening where that's being shown to you that and and knowing that finally things will change because you see things as they are you see what is and then you bring that so you bring that to them it's in all areas, nothing held back. Where are you holding yourself back? Because, and Ashley's like, because I'm done with people playing small. I've come to revolutionize your fucking life, <laughs> okay? And she does it with love. You're held, and just like she gave that message before, you're held and it's strong, right? And it, it's, but it will, like, you want to shift things. Like, you can't put your hand up for help and then just, <gasps> no, 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 like, when I've ever reached out for help, it's because, like, I want to fucking change now. I need it to shift now, 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 now. Please, like, someone help me, you know? Um, and so speak about that, how you work with uh, people and the kind of work that you do. Yeah, so on a civilian side of things, <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a background in criminal justice. I'm actually ordained. Wow. I went to seminary. I am. Um, <laughs> I went to a divinity school. I studied marriage and family therapy. Um, I am now working towards uh, international certifications as a sexologist. So there's a lot of ways that in terms of embodying this that has really come about. Like I wanted to know about the rules. What are all this criminal justice stuff and the political science? I wanna know where these rules are coming from. And then, okay. I got that part. Now, what's all this God part about? Like, and the path has just woven such a beautiful toolbox. Um, and I offer what I call live coaching. Um, it's life coaching, it's sexology coaching, it's whatever kind of coaching. But what I really try to do is help people step into themselves, regain trust in themselves, embrace themselves in their truest form, bring them to that remembrance. And then I usually send them to Maria <laughs> to figure out who that is. Um, but it's, it's love, that L is for the love self-love first and always the I is for intimacy but it's it's not just sex it's it's your expression that intimately knowing of yourself and then allowing the world to see it and the V is for voraciousness honesty truth like get it out let's let's 
come into the truth of who you are. And then E is for that evolution, that revolution for our existence, because that revolution time is here. Mm -hmm. So I love to just find what that intention is as people come in to work with me and you can follow different posts and and see which flavor, which style of transmission you'd like to tap into. But it could be just, you know, changing your life, working through emotional patterns, um, releasing programming that has gotten you all sorts of messed up, um, religious toxic um, guilt and shame and dogma that is a lot of programming, especially uh, anywhere that's been colonized, um, <laughs> which is everywhere these days. Yeah. Um, but I, I work specifically with the communities that people might not be inclined to work with, or they're afraid by taboo things. I work a lot with kink communities and people wanting to just live that expression of who they are in their fullness. Mm -hmm. I think that kinky people are born kinky, just like gay people are born gay. It's an imprint on your life and it's, you've just got to come to that expression of who you are. But similarly, sexual abuse traumas and survivors, um, I help work with them because that they're stuck in that emotional place of where, where life has declared war and to bring them to a place of wholeness again. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I really love working with men um, as someone who was formerly in armed forces. Mm -hmm. um, I have a little bit different of a rigidity mindset that meets men and masculinities in a different way that allows that vulnerable space to not feel so scary. But in, in bringing all of this consciousness consultation to businesses and people and lives and couples and communities, I just, I just want everyone to have that personal revolution, have that sexual revolution, have that life revolution where you finally stand in your power. Yes. It's time to do it. Yeah, I love that. And, and usually when we're not in our power in one area, like all always all areas will suffer will suffer mm -hmm. and so yeah I just love all the work and I love before I even met you and this download came through and you've done all that study and you've done all the different areas and it's all the different areas where there's been so much dogma like <laughs> everything you just went and you were there and you were there and you were there and you're there and so she's created you know this beautiful learning about what was happening and her own views and still she came through that filter of revolutionary like what's right what's wrong here what's you know she would you you would see it <laughs> as like okay this is right this what, what are you what are you teaching here you know like I love that you went to all those areas and got that combination so you could serve us the best like it's it's amazing like she knew without knowing exactly who she was like um, through that filter, she was drawn to go to those different areas so she could then dismantle them, right? So, um, so it says, you are a voice, a revolution, and you speak truth on many subjects coming forth. The dogma in all fields is what you speak on. You love watching it all fall. Uh, your laugh is loud, almost Jekyll and Hyde-like, like there's this like <laughs> enjoyment, like, ha, watch this. <laughs> like, <laughs> It is because um, you're you're seeing the people be freed. You're seeing like, ha, this cannot happen anymore. And people come to you to dramatically shift their lives, God says. Okay, so this is what God was saying about um, Ashley's work. People come to you to dramatically shift their lives, an area of their life, and you clear and you implant the truths that they need. They feel reborn when they are with you. You dismantle the beliefs that have kept them stuck in this place. And you polarize and energize the new beliefs. So it's, you know, you, you, God says you restrict the vibration of that old belief and you polarize and energize the new beliefs into their new awareness of who they be. Their life transforms before their very eyes. You shed all limitations that they have carried within. You easily pick up their BS, you know, because we think, oh, it's so true. And, and Ashley's able to just like, she's dismantling yeah. us too, as, as we speak. And you transform it to truth. Yeah, you are the revolutionary leader of our time. You are the God of revolution. And this shifts the beings into their truth, which is what you were saying that you do. It's so beautiful, the work. And yeah, you'll know if you're being called to Ashley because, um, 
Sorry, I just keep seeing things about you. <laughs> I can't. Um, another it's already good is things that, is that you will polarize communities, and that is good. Okay, so you actually polarize communities because you come in and go, no, this is what I believe. This is she's just a truth teller, right? And so it 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 makes people like, oh no, I'm not ready for that or whatever. But you work with our laws, not that of the world systems, you don't belong to those. You don't give a fuck about those, actually. It is universal laws. And you are here to break the stigma of many ideas that are now here to unfold. And, you know, you're always thinking there is so much here to explore. Government, governments, religion, education, sexual desire, all of it. You get to explore it all. You are source. The very source that we be, she's here to just free that into the world, right? So... Yeah, I love that. I love that. I love that so much. So Ashley, if there's a message for now for our time now that people need and require or whatever's on your heart to share with us, um, how we can be better individuals or what our planet requires, um, what would that be for you? Mm, I, th I think it came through you a little bit ago. Um, and have we not suffered enough already? Mm -hmm. Um, and there are so many people that get comfortable. I say being a lump on the couch. I'm not trying to be phobic of any body shapes or sizes in saying that it's the comfort level that I'm against, the comfort level of doing nothing, the comfort level of disregard for self and disregard for others. And of all the ways that we've said that we wanted, if we just had time, if we could just do this thing, the time is now. Yeah. Have you not suffered enough already? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Yes. I love you so much, girl. Like, <laughs> I love you. Oh my gosh. Just so many truth bombs here. Like, just um, thank you. Thank you for all your wisdom. I feel totally activated. I feel totally. Like that revolutionary within you begins within what do you, what do you know that's not right on this planet what do you know speak out what is it that and sometimes it's not even speaking out against something but it's something that you need to speak through you need to there's something inside of you that needs to come out and that will actually have the right message or activate someone or heal someone or it's an idea for someone to then you know go out and speak their truth right but yes please go over follow ashley she'll change your fucking world i'm telling you she's <laughs> got a revolution like what a powerful powerful energy that she brings onto our planet and right now it is activated on our planet so today you've been activated with ashley's energy god of revolutionary um god of revolution and so the revol the revolution begins inside of you and it spreads out to our world right and we are a stand for revolution for um for love for love on the planet because you will feel that within her right that that's her truth the universal laws are there and that's her truth and then the revolution begins but today our planet will also be activated again so today you will see the rise you will see more things start to come out and we need to be the stand and yeah such a beautiful message to end with ashley like have we not suffered enough Let's do this. Yeah. I love you so much. Yeah. Thank you for I being you. sharing you. I want I want a three months. Something's coming. Something even bigger. Wow. Be ready. Yes. Yes. I love that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Amazing. Thank you, Ashley. Love Until to next time. Bye. <laughs>